Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show um, show you a unique um, pinwheel style card that I actually am casing from a friend of mine, Sharon Bennett. Um, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the Chicago area and she always comes up with these fun things and I just wanted to share this with you. You start out with two scrap pieces of paper. Um, don't obsess about what color it is because it's not going to show at all. So you're going to cut these at two and five eighths inches square. Um, so that's an eighth inch past a half. Um, for those of you who are like me and have a hard time um, coming up with some of those measurements. Now I'm going to put these together with glue sticks just because for this particular project I think the um, glue sticks give you a little bit more wiggle room. Now I'm, I'm not the greatest at lining things up so I'm just going to put this on my on my um, grid paper here so I kind of have some lines to go by and as you can see I, I'm not going to have it even no matter what I do even with lines but I try. So that's all you need and this is just going to be your base. Now you're also going to cut um, eight pieces of designer series paper in two different patterns um, at one and a quarter inches square. Now I've actually used the same piece of paper and I'm just using both sides. And this is a retired um, autumn paper from a few years ago. So you're going to start, and I should have probably had this dry, but I'm just going to dive in. So when you start, you're going to want to leave the one edge a little bit loose on your first piece because the last one is going to get tucked in underneath there. So now we're just going to go around lining these up with your corners that you've created with your scrap. Then as we come around to our last one, of course we're going to have to um, sneak it in underneath here. Just kind of lift it up, get this one back where it belongs. We're going to have to add just a little bit of glue to it. Okay. And we're going to pretend this is dry. <clears throat> now you're going to have to finish off this center. You can either punch out, um, you know, like a little punch and put in the middle. I actually had this, um, another retired item. It's a brad. I'm just going to go ahead and attach this to the center. So you can use whatever, you know, brad or punch. Buttons work great. Put that in the center. Fold that out. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a hard time throwing things away. And as a demonstrator, um, I'm working with a lot of novices. So sometimes, you know, if they don't quite hear my directions um, or they work ahead on their own, I have boo-boo cards. And, you know, I'm going to use it somewhere. So I thought this would be a great spot because, you know, once I put this on here, these little areas where it didn't get stamped in the center, um, nobody knows the difference. It actually gives it kind of a unique look. This was stamped with the hardwood um, background stamp. Love this one. Okay, so we're just going to add some fast views to this. So you're going to use your little check mark so that you still have some fast views to start your next strip. <clears throat> oh, maybe I better put a little bit in the center here too with that metal piece. Okay. So then we're just going to center this on here. Now I've chosen uh, the Happy Birthday Greeting from the Bloom with Hope Hostess set. And I'm going to ink this up with the Rich Razzleberry. Then I'm going to take the um, crumb cake and just kind of dip the edges in it. 
not getting too um, exact about how I do it, but just to make the edges a little bit darker. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that dry for just a second before I pick it up, or I probably will smear it because I'm going to have to flip it upside down, of course. So then I'm going to center this on here. Cute and quick. Thank you, Sharon, for showing me how to do this. And I hope you all have fun um, creating some fun, striking color combinations. Um, I would love to see your creations with this design. So please um, make your card, take a picture of it, and send me an email with your picture uh, or post it on my Facebook page. I just, I love to see when people use my ideas and copy and share them with others. So thanks for stopping by The Roost. I hope you have a great day crafting.